Are you using videos in your lessons but students are not being engaged or just skipping through them? If yes, this video is for you. With Deck Toys, you can now turn an ordinary video into an engaging and interactive adventure. Let me show you how. In the slide and video activity, you can click on interactive video to add a YouTube video to the Deck Toys slide. For this example, I'm going to search a video from Khan Academy embed it directly into this Deck Toys slide. So let's select the video. You can play the video and browse through the timeline. And for this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to make this interactive easily with the slide apps within Deck Toys. We're going to find a point in the video where we're going to add the slide apps. At this timing, we, are, we can add slide apps by just dragging it into the video. So it will be positioned accordingly to where you are placed. The students will see this. And uh, we have many slide apps to get your students' responses. Got text, you can get students to draw or put a marker on the screen, a poll. And also you can ask the students to take a photo and uh, even upload images. Finally, we also can record their own voice too. We have many other tools to make the lesson engaging by uh, all these different apps, which you can find out more in our website. For this video, I'm going to add uh, a link for the students to get more information. So for example, here we're going to embed this web link animation of the heart and click on embed within the desktop window and you can see how this looks like in the student's view. This is the deck preview. The left is the teacher's view where you can get the student's responses in real time. And on the right is the student's view. Students can play the video and uh, jump to any point as we have not set the video skipping to be disabled. So now the students can, can skip the video. For example, you can jump to the position of the video that we have set just now. But if you want to make it strict for students, you just click on prevent video skipping and students will be required to watch the video without skipping. And now I'm going to show you how the apps we have added looks like in the, the video that we have added. So here at the marker position, we have embedded a GIF. As a teacher, you can place this as contextual information within the video itself and you get students' responses. So the students will not be able to move on until they have completed the slide apps. So the students will need to answer, submit their answers to you. So in this case, after submitting answers, the student can move on. As a teacher, you can track the students' responses and get all, mark them correct or wrong in this teacher's view. So next, I want to show you how we can make this video even more engaging by splitting it up and making the students to be able to complete it in segments instead of just one complete long video that might bore the students. So in the trim and edit video option here, you can click on split video, uh, split it into two different slides. For example, now we have this second slide now with the, the other part of the video. And the first part of the video will be the text app just now. And now if you want to make it even more challenging for the students, you can actually use the log app, which will force the students to get the correct answer before they are able to continue. So what is this? You can say, so you want the students to answer hard, you can put it as a log here. So the students will encounter this log and be unable to move on until they have completed to unlock this. If they answer wrongly, they cannot move on. And if they answer correctly, they can move on and continue with the video. So like now, this is the second part of the video that we have set just now. Next, I want to show you how you can bring this uh, interactive video into the next level by using the Deck Toys activities. Uh, in Deck Toys, we prefer your students to work on in the lesson progressively through separate activities instead of a very long, boring activity. Here, we're going to make the introduction part of the video into another slide. In this video, the first uh, five minutes, for example, you want to put it into uh, a separate video. We can just click on split video again. You can yes, split. And here we have three different parts of the video. The first part, second part, and then third part. Now we are going to use the split slides option to bring this, uh, the second and third slide into a separate slide activity. So after clicking, press yes, split and you go to your deck map 
and then here you can see there's a new slide activity in this case video activity created for you and the students can work on this first activity and then move on to the second activity and for now i'm going to make it even better that to have the third video on a third separate activity so now i'm going to split it and now we have this third activity that the students can work in sequence after working on the first activity as an introduction second activity as a formative assessment you're going to put the slide up here to get their responses and finally the third video activity is the ending part of the video and you're going to get their responses final responses and the exit ticket so now uh, we're going to make this uh, lesson in even more interactive by using the study step set games so we click on the new add new study set and I'm going to add a new blank study set. So here you can enter terms and definitions that is relevant for the lesson. So for today, we're going to learn about heart. And you can type heart, uh, artery, and the definition is automatically added for you. You can modify if you need to. And finally, we add uh, the vein. And for image, you can search for image or copy and paste, upload your own image. A quick example, I'm going to add the human heart here. And here we already have the games ready to be played by the students. So the students can try and work on with the same study set in different games. So in here, many games on top. And there's lines, there's the maze where the students will need to go through to find the matching cards. And also the memory puzzle is all available here. You can click on add activity to map and you'll be automatically created for you. So for example, just now we have the memory activity, you can add multiple by just dragging like this see this is very easy and you can add this as an optional path for students so for example after the students working on the first video activity they can play a, a simple maybe a choices activity which just looks like mcq and then you can move on to the video activity for your assessment and here we can have a split path to the bottom where they can work on other activities uh, like the matching for the second video activity we are going to make it even more interactive by uh, letting the students draw on it on the video itself but for this case uh, we can get a screen snip so for for now i'm going to take a screen snip and paste it into a new slide so click on plus to add a new slide and control v or command v to paste the image and now the image is here we can edit it to, we're going to make the students to draw on it and for now we are going to blank out the, the answer so we're going to request the student to draw the arrows on the floor for the wings so now that we have erased the part and we click on we add the draw app to the slide and this whole image can be drawn by the students we are going to launch the preview and the student can will be prompted to to draw the answer so for example the student will draw the flow of the the blood and then on the teacher's view you can see all the responses come in like, like so you go back to the editor so here we can continue after the students work on the match activity we can go to the final video activity here at the end of the final video activity number three we can add a voice response app to get the students' responses. So for example, at the end of the video, you're going to prompt them to add, to record their voice on what you have learned about the heart. Okay. Then the students reaching to this slide will be unable to move on until they have submitted their voice response. So here, how it looks like. The students will watch the video and because we have uh, allowed skipping so the students can jump to the end so in this case the student cannot move on until they have submitted their voice response so after recording the, the response and the, the students can submit and the teacher's site will be able to view the responses like what we have shown earlier just by clicking on the the slide app on the teacher's view so the teacher can play back and also view it in the full report with all the other responses and all the students too to cap it out 
lesson to end the lesson well you can add the slide template so in by clicking the slide template and on the exit tab you can add the exit ticket okay you also can add a gift to to congratulate the students that they have completed it the lesson is now complete and you can really use it for your students so we can go through as a final preview as a student they will be uh, students will come in through the entry point which is here the video first video activity they can watch this video and move on so that was the introduction activity and they will be prompted with a game activity in here is called choices and the student can try and solve the the questions after completing this they can then move on to the video activity here this video activity which we have created for formative assessment the students can view it and unable to to move on until they have completed the slide apps so here there there is a the gift and embedded gift they need to to enter uh, the answer so here is a, a open response question and then finally there's a lock which they must enter the correct answer otherwise they are unable to move on after answering correctly they can move to the, to the next slide and here is the one where we ask the students response to draw and and finally they can move on to the subsequent activities that's all for now i hope that you have learned how to make any video interactive with the use of the tech toy slide apps and also split the video into separate activities to make it engaging for our students. Thank you.